What are coastal dune lakes? Geologists are always interested. They've got this thing, they want to know how did it originate? How did it get there? Not so much what it is now, but how did it form? I found that the water bodies would often tell the story that the dunes couldn't tell. These water bodies are found all over the globe. Some of the most unique coastal dune lakes in the United States are found in Florida. The dune lakes, first of all, extraordinarily beautiful, and they're unique to this region. There are three vital components in a dune lake system. Sand, water, and life. Salt water coming into the freshwater lakes gives all of the critters in sea life and the birds an opportunity to exchange healthy food supplies for all of them and continue that process for generations. Coastal dune lakes are important simply because they are a unique physical habitat that certain groups of plants and animals can take advantage of. In the state of Florida, these rare coastal dune lakes are only found in the northwest region, located within a 26-mile strip of shoreline along the Emerald Coast. I describe them as 15 jewels. You know, one is a diamond, one is a ruby, one is a sapphire. They're all different. I think it's also unique because of the degree to which these lakes are in public ownership. We have a lot of stuff that calls this place home in transit or, or all, all year. Beach mice are a subspecies of the old field mouse, which is a white-footed mouse. Over time, their coats went more white. I call him the farmer of the dunes. They have a very big job. Another special resident of the dunes are snowy plovers. The population right now is estimated to be only about 250 pairs or you know, 500 individuals left in the state. Loggerhead and green sea turtles are highly endangered and particularly vulnerable to human activity. South Walton in general has really high natural resource values. There's a lot of natural treasures there, and the dune lakes sort of epitomize that to a great natural value. These beaches along the Florida Panhandle are, I would argue, the most beautiful in the country. The state would be well advised to not let it go away, and they're under tremendous pressure right now. And if, it, if you're not careful, state of Florida, you're going to lose this great treasure. There's this emotional experience, ah oh, yes, lovely. Sand, water, weather, rain. It, it's essentially part of the reward of uh, being alive and enjoying it all at the same time. And you say, what, what are these? Then you find out how rare they are and how lucky we are to have them here in Walton County. That's awesome. <laughs>